Yo, what is going on guys? Xtimus here. So today I'm going to be showing you guys a remastered version of my Budget Frenzy Barbarian. Now this is one of my most well-received builds that I've ever made. And one of the problems with the build build is that it, it can't do Uber Tristram. So I updated the build for you guys. I'm really excited to show you guys the, this video because I'm really surprised that this build worked out so well with Uber Tristram as a Frenzy Barbarian and it's a cheap budget build. Yeah, it's just a remastered version of the budget Frenzy Barbarian. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So timestamps are in the description below. If you guys want to skip the certain parts of the video you want to see. And um, let's just get started with the video. All right, so starting off with the Frenzy Barbarian, a few things here is the highest rune cost is an Umrune. And the rarest items used in, in the build are Azerath and a Metal Grid Amulet. These are all very cheap items in the trading community on Diablo 2. And it clears Uber Tristram and Diablo clone slash Uber Diablo. My favorite thing about this build is that it can kill all of the minions and adds in Uber Tristram. And to be honest with you guys, I might be making a decision here to actually use a Frenzy Barbarian instead of a Smiter because it really takes away a lot of stress. When you're a Smiter doing Uber Tristram, there's really a lot of ads around and then it's hard to get the torch, it's hard to walk around. And with this Frenzy Barbarian, you're going to be knocking back a ton of undead enemies with the Sanctuary Aura coming from Azerath. And not only are you going to be able to knock them back, you're going to kill them very quickly because it takes away their physical resistance. And you're just going to be able to clear everything in Uber Tristram. So this is really exciting for this build. And I, I really never thought to do something like this. And it's the main reason why I'm so excited to show this build to you guys. So and then, as I said before, it's going to have the Sanctuary Aura. And this is going to knock back the minions that Mephisto spawns. So this is really going to make it a lot easier. I know a few people use Howl when they're using a Barbarian for Uber Tristram. You could use Howl, but Sanctuary Aura is really going to do good with knocking them back again. And it's really going to make it a lot easier for you to kill them since it takes away their physical resistance. And he has around 3200 life. So as a barbarian, you have very high survivability. And I also think that this build might have more survivability than a Uber Tristram Smiter. And then just adding up all of the stats here, we have 65% crushing blow, 68% open wounds, and 30% deadly strike. And we're going to have fade cast as well. So we're going to be using treachery. Then we're going to be switching it out for duress. And one of the most biggest things with the melee build is he has cannot be frozen. That's just absolutely necessary. One of the things that I was trying to learn about this build, and maybe some of you guys can help me out, is that with Thunder Gods, that is 20 lightning absorb. It's not 20% lightning absorb like the Wisp Projector. The percent maxes out at 40 percent however what i read is that there is no cap on the 20 lightning absorb i believe that the 20 percent from wisp projector and the 20 percent from lightsaber can actually stack together for 40 percent lightning absorb and then have 20 lightning absorb on top of that now that's what i think but maybe some of you guys can help me out with that so then going on here with the build let's start off with the items so the first item is Azerath. Now this is a really cheap item in the trading community. And if you're a melee character, I highly suggest that you at least have this weapon on Switch or in your inventory somewhere because it's really good against physical monsters, monsters that have physical immunity. So you're going to be able to kill any of those elite packs that have a, a physical immune to them. And that's because he's doing magic damage and cold damage. So this is this makes it so you can actually kill monsters that are immune to physical damage and it's it's all around an amazing weapon to have that sanctuary aura is so important i mean if you're using a melee character and you're doing chaos sanctuary there's a ton of undead enemies in there so you're really going to be able to take them down really quickly and you know shout out to all my players that actually play other builds besides sorceresses because you know melee builds is I think a lot of people that try to play melee builds just really have a lot to learn. And, um, you know, I just want to give a big shout out to you guys because it really is a lot of work and it takes a lot of, of 
understanding and, and learning to really be effective in Diablo 2. So, but it, it's always a, a lot of fun to play melee builds. I love playing them. So and then for the helmet, we're using G-Face and I put an Oort rune in there. You could put an Um rune in there, but I put a lightning resistance rune in there, the Oort rune. And this is because Mephisto does so much damage with lightning. So it's really important that, that you have really good lightning absorb and lightning resistances. So, but you, you can probably defeat Uber Tristram without putting that Oort rune in there. I know you guys probably don't have socket quests just laying around everywhere, so it's really not that big of a deal, but if you do have an open socket or a quest, I would probably put an armor in there. So and then moving on here with the other weapon is the lightsaber. It's, a, it's very similar to Azeroth, and it's just another one of those weapons that basically people just throw away. So you, you could probably get this for like a hate key or something like that, but if you are a melee character, I'm telling you this is an extremely overpowered and amazing weapon. Up to 200% enhanced damage. It has ignores target's defense, which is really amazing for melee characters. And then another really good thing combining this with Azerath. You can see right there you're getting a little bit more magic damage. So if you run into an elite pack that has physical immunity, you're really going to be able to do even more damage there to uh, monsters that are immune to physical damage. And it also has another 200 lightning damage on there. It's just amazing. And another thing, two more things that are really good about this weapon is that it has mana stolen per hit. Now, this is a stat that's really difficult to get for melee characters. You usually have to get it from very end game rune words or maybe a rare ring. It's really hard to come by for a melee character. So that 7% life stolen per hit is really important because I don't know if you notice that when you do use melee skills, you still have to use mana. So there are times where you're going to be running into a elite pack that has mana burn and then it, it just it's just annoying when you run out of mana and you can't even use zeal or frenzy or whatever melee skill that you're using. So lightsaber is just amazing. And then for the armor, we're using duress. Um, I really think that this is amazing. I really tried to look for other items to use, but I really think that this is the best option. It has 15% crushing blow and 33% op open wounds on an armor. And it's really hard to come by armor that has crushing blow or open wounds. And it also has up to 133 cold damage. So this is just going to be adding even more damage to the physical immune monsters. And it's just overall a really good, good item to have. It's really cheap, shale on thole. So I really, I highly suggest that you guys get this. And I, I just think it's one of the best options out there. It's just absolutely amazing. And then using Drax, you definitely want to get Drax. Now you could get a life tap wand, but I would probably suggest that you use Drax just so you can keep that life tap going. 10% life stolen per hit and just a few other amazing stats. But if you're using this character, if you're not doing Uber Tristram, I would suggest you use Laying of Hands instead of instead of Drax. You you could just get a life tap wand and you could probably use Laying of Hands. But um, it's a little bit difficult to come across a life tap wand. You could keep checking Mala to see if you can get one. I mean, it's really your decision and based on, on what's going on with you, I suggest you just get Drax. But if you don't have them and you have a life tap wand, just go ahead and use the, the life tap wand. And then for the ring, we're using Raven Frost. This is, you, you have to have this for a melee character. When it comes to a melee character, for the most part, you either need to have a Raven Frost or you need to have a Cham Rune. And you probably don't want to waste a Cham Rune just to get Cannot Be Frozen. So you always just want to get Raven Frost, another really cheap item. And then Thunder Gods, um, this is really important because of that 20 Lightning Absorb that I was telling you guys about because Mephisto is such a difficult boss. So it's really important to have Thunder Gods. I think you could probably just use it anyway because Lightning Souls and the Ghost, there's always some kind of lightning monster that just does a ton of damage and kills you. So I highly suggest that you could switch it out, but I really think Thunder Gods is, is probably, it's a really good item to have. So and then moving on here, we have a Dwarf Star. Dwarf Star is really gonna be good for fighting Diablo. It has 15% fire absorb. Now, if you, if you do have a Wisp, I would suggest that you use that, but based on what we were talking about earlier, if it stacks, if it will stack with Thunder Gods, 
then I would say use Wisp Projector. I haven't really tested this too much, and it's, there are certain things in Diablo 2 like this that are very complicated, and there's other things that we could talk about. And I know I'm, go I'm talking about a lot of different things here, but I really tried to give you guys as much information as I, as I can to really just help everybody out. And Diablo 2 is just an amazing game and there's so much to it. So if anyone could help out with the lightning absorb thing and, and just thinking about it. Also, I did put an Amrune in here before to get some life leech. And the thing is life leech supposedly doesn't work with bosses like Mephisto and Diablo. But I'll leave a link in the description below. There's some information about that where it does work. It barely works to the point that it's almost just useless. Like it's almost like doing doing nothing, but it's still sort of there. Just one of those things that's very complicated in Diablo 2. And going on with the boots here, we have Gore Riders. Just the most amazing boots to have for any melee character. 15% Deadly Strike, 15% the Crushing Blow, and Open Wounds. They're just absolutely amazing. And as far as the inventory goes, I would probably suggest that you guys try to get some Grand Charms with around 30% Lightning Resistance. Because if you can max your Lightning Resistance, it's really going to be really easy to do Uber Tristram and then you don't have to worry about Mephisto as much. You don't absolutely have to get them, but if you want to make your character have more survivability, get as many Lightning Resist Charms as you can. And I'm using a Hellfire Torch for a Barbarian, and I took the Annie off because I really just tried to make the build as cheap as possible. I know some of the things in here are perfect, but you really don't need to have an Annie. It's not a huge deal or anything like that. I would probably just get the Hellfire Torch because they're really cheap in the trading community. And then for the Barbarian on Switch, we actually have two Warcry sticks. You could buy these from Mala if you don't have these. I would probably just use two spirit swords and that will be really good. You want to switch to this when you're using battle orders and battle command. So because it just adds more skills so you have more life and everything like that. And as far as the mercenary goes, you don't need to have your mercenary in Uber Tristram. But if you're doing just normal monsters, just playing Diablo 2, I would suggest, like I said before, switch out your Drax for laying of hands. You don't want that life tap going around with this build that I have set up because he has Reaper's Toll and he uses Decreptify. So with the Mercenary, Decreptify is really going to be good because it's going to lower the physical resistance of all the monsters that have the curse by 50%. It won't affect the undead because you're using Azeroth and that just completely removes it. But the Reaper's Toll is really good to have and I would not bring this Mercenary into Uber Tristram with you, like I said, because that Decreptify. I'm actually saying it wrong. I always say Decrepify wrong, and I apologize so much for that. But make sure you don't have a Reaper's Toll on your Mercenary and Uber Tristram. But if you're just doing normal monsters, I would suggest Reaper's Toll for your Mercenary. And I really like having Vampire Gaze and Shaft Stop. These are probably two of the best Mercenary items that people never use. Shaft Stop, 30% damage rate. Damage reduced by 30%, Vampire Gaze, damage reduced by 15%, Life Leech, and I, I put Umruns in both of them because both of these items are lacking resistance. I really think they're absolutely amazing, and in my opinion, I really don't like when my Mercenary dies. I think this is probably the best way to make sure that your Mercenary doesn't die. I really think on Darius and Treachery, Treachery does give you... What, what is it called? It does give you a fade, but still at the same time, I really think Shaft Stop and Vampire Gazer are probably the best items to have to make sure that your mercenary doesn't die because it's just, it's just really annoying when your mercenary dies. So moving on with the skill tree here, we're gonna start off with War Cries on the left. With every single Barbarian build, you always max out Battle Order. So 20 points in the Battle Orders, one into Battle Command, and then I think I put the rest of my points in the taunt. We'll get to that at the end of, at the end of the skill tree. But just with war cries, make sure you put 20 points in the battle orders, one point in the battle command. And for the combat, you want to make sure you put 20 points in the sword mastery, one point into increased speed, and one point into natural resistance. And going on with the combat skills, we want to make sure we put one point into berserk, 
this is just something that people do sometimes if they really want to take down the monster that's immune to physical really quickly this will probably help out the damage even more but since we have that magic damage coming from azerath and, and the lightsaber and everything like that we probably never even need to use berserk and then I put 20 points into Frenzy and 20 points into Double Swing. And then I put the rest of my points into Taunt because it's a synergy with Frenzy. And then as far as the attributes go, we put enough points into Strength to use our gear, enough points into Dexterity to use our gear, Energy None, and the rest of the points into Vitality. Now for anyone that hasn't played a Frenzy Barbarian before, I'm just going to show you guys how to play this build as it is right now. So for me, the first thing that I do is I have F1 for Frenzy on the left, and then F2 I have Berserk. You're probably not going to be using that unless you you run into a monster that's immune to physical, physical damage. And for F3, I just use Leap. This is really nice to have if there's too many monsters around, especially in Uber Tristram, and you really just need to get away and maybe just regain some health. You can just leap around and just get away from any monsters. I really like having that, and it really makes things a lot less stressful. And then as far as number four, I have Howl. I actually use Howl sometimes in Uber Tristram to just kind of shoot monsters away and get them away from me. It just makes them run away it's really nice to use a uber tristram every now and then but i don't concentrate on it too much and then on switch if you hit w you want to go over to your war cry sticks or your spirit swords and then i just have battle command on f5 battle orders on f6 and then shout on f7 and I really just make sure you have battle command first because that's going to give you a few more skills and then it's going to add more skills to battle orders when you use it. And then really you just run around and you just start attacking with frenzy. All right, so let's get started with Uber Tristram. I hope you guys really enjoy this gameplay. So the first thing you want to do when you get into Uber Tristram is just put on the treachery and we want to stand in this fire right here until we get that fade and the fade from treachery is going to give us a bunch of resistances so this is really going to be good against Uber Mephisto and sometimes it just takes a really long time so just be patient or if you really don't want to wait and it just seems like you're having really bad luck trying to get fade to cast a lot of times I just go to the Frigid Highlands because there's a lot of ranged attackers there. You could just go around and kill stuff until you get it casted. It really just depends on what you want to do. You can stand in the fire and be lazy or you could just go ahead and, and fight some stuff until it gets casted. So as you can see our resistances went up. It's kind of hard to tell if you're faded or not in Diablo 2 Resurrected. It's just kind of hard to tell compared to classic Diablo 2. But just take a look at your resistances and you should be able to tell. I really like to pull Mephisto away a lot because then there's not as many skeletons around and as you can see right there it really made it a lot easier and I'm taking a lot less damage now that I kind of ran away a little bit and it, it just makes Mephisto a lot easier to kill so I would recommend you guys you know just try to stick to that technique that I just did just now. Then I'm going to come over here and hope that Bale teleports, and then he does. And then I'm going to try and pull him away so I don't have to go ahead and fight Diablo and Bale at the same time. And you really want to watch your fade here. Make sure that you get fade again once it fades away. 
uh, because that's really important and you're really going to be taking a lot more damage if you don't have fade. Just, just make sure I'm using those mana potions because Bale loves to mana burn. And I would really just try to make sure you follow the strategy that I'm using when I'm fighting the bosses right now or else it's just going to get really difficult and it, it's, it's just not going to be good. So I would try to make sure you know with the Mephisto strategy you do that. And then come over here to bail and do it the way I just did. And then Diablo should be pretty easy to take out. And just in case, I'm going to... I know Fade... Oh, Fade is still up. I thought it would be gone by now. I was going to run away and switch my armor and then get Fade. But it's, it's actually still going, so that's good. still watching it just bringing up my character sheet just to just to make sure It's still going. I'll go ahead and cast more battle orders. And I just love, I love being able to kill all of the monsters in here. It just makes it so much easier. And then when you're getting the torch, you're not having to run through a million monsters just to, just to get the, get the torch. It's, I just love it. And we're going to go ahead and get Fade again. Diablo, that fire damage is it's no joke. And also, you could use the demons around you, too, to get your life back up with Life Tap. I really like that. You could see how Diablo really did a lot of damage to me. And then those demons kind of helped me get some of that back. And then you could also leap around like this, too. That really helps helps out a lot. Make sure I got that dwarf star on. But yeah, sometimes it can get pretty difficult. Like right now, I'm really taking a lot of damage. But just try to stay back and just try to watch your damage. And right now, I should probably go back and refill refill my health potions. I think I put some in my inventory. Nope. It's not as fast as a smiter paladin, but so much more fun in my opinion and, and really cool. And especially if you have a barbarian, you can just go ahead and, and do this. And it's always fun to do. One of my favorite things is to do Uber Tristram with like different builds and stuff like that. I think it's really exciting and, and really tests the, the character and, and everything like that. And then right after this we'll do Uber we'll do Diablo clone as, as well.
And there we go. We got a 2018 Amazon torch. And we'll come back and get that later. And let's just go ahead and do Diablo clone. I don't know why it got light so quick. I really like when it's dark out. When Diablo clone spawns. Kill these other other guys around here. And Diablo clone is done and easy. Super easy. So and then that's about it for the video guys. I hope you enjoyed this build. I really had a ton of fun making this character and I love you guys so much. And I really apologize that I've been away for so many years. The channel has been doing amazing. You guys have helped me out so much in my real life just watching the videos it's really a big part of my life and i just want to thank you guys so much for always being around and always supporting my channel even every single month i get hundreds of thousand like a few hundred thousand views and it's just absolutely amazing and i love you guys so much and i'm really looking forward to making more builds for for everyone there are so many videos that i've started to make that i just never put out i probably have around a hundred different builds that i'm working on mainly experimental builds that are really cool and i'm really excited to show you guys in the future and i've had so much fun making them so i love all of you so much make sure you guys subscribe if you want to keep up with diablo 2 content and hit the bell notification if you guys want to get notified when new videos get uploaded and i love again i love all of you so much and i hope you guys have a wonderful day